So another way that conditional probability questions come up is with a table that's given. So I just made up some numbers here. So let's say I find some people and I make them choose what their favorite color is between yellow and red. And these are the results. So of the male people I asked, eight of them preferred yellow and 10 preferred red. So I must have talked to 18 men. Out of the females I talked to, nine preferred yellow, six preferred red. So I talked to 15 women. All together, you can see if I add everything up, I have 33 people I talked to all together. It was a pretty boring day today. I had lots of time, I guess. So let's talk about just a basic probability. What's the probability if I grab a person at random out of my sample, that, that person preferred red? So out of the 33 people I asked all together, right, the number in my sample space, how many preferred red? Right, so this is my acceptable outcome. So there were 16 right, red lovers in my group. Right. So recall for conditional, we use this little vertical line that we read given. So what's the probability, and I, I started abbreviating, what's the probability when I pick a person at random that that person prefers yellow given it's a female? So I'll again caution you away from the formula. It's much too complicated. If you will use my technique about right, whatever the given part is, gives you the number for your denominator, and then the probability you're interested in can be your numerator. So what's the probability that the person prefers yellow given it's a, we know it's a female? So now I just have to go to how many females I have. Right, so that's my denominator. How many of those women preferred yellow? Nine. So I'll explain my letters here and then see if you can get the fraction. Try to beat me there. What's the probability the person I chose is male given they prefer red? Sixteen for the denominator. Right. And of those sixteen red preferers, ten of them are male.